One, two, three, four, five. Hello, everybody. This is beginning of the Wolfman of Reaction. We're going to be reacting, reviewing, and appreciating this 12 song reaction. That's right, folks. I'm doing 12 songs. I'm going to react and just listen to them and check them out and share them with you. Is, this is Banjo Baron. That's right. This is Banjo Baron. Back in town. This is some back information I found. It's Columbia. Uh, 1961 publication date. You know, it's jazz, Dixieland, instrumental. And uh, it gives you the whole entire list of all the songs and some added other information. You can find this on archive.org. Just look up Banjo Back in Town, Banjo Barons. In the audio department, I will have all that information for you so you can easily find. If not, just, just ask me and I'll let you know. But let's get on with this Banjo Reaction Festival. Let's see what Banjo Baron has to offer us. I'm going to turn my mic off and here we go. Well, there you go. That was the first song. I get it's Wait Till the Sunshine, Nelly, Billy Boy, In the Good Old Sunshine. I think In the Good Old Sunshine, it's weird how they named this. I don't know if that's the band or not. That Like the backup band? I'm not sure. I really don't know. But this is the album cover right here behind me. But on the album cover, it says uh, 36 all-time banjo favorites. There's only 12 here, so I'm wondering if there's a part two to this or something, or or more. Because it's uh, only some of them are on here that I, I notice, I think. I don't have to blow that up and look. Because it says, like I said, 36 all-time banjo favorites on this cover here. And there's only 12 songs here. But, uh, maybe, uh couple of them I don't know we'll have to see I think this is interesting like I said this is 61 you know let me, let me look again this is uh 1961 yeah it came out so here's the 12 12 songs right here or like I'm not sure if there are multiple songs within I don't know how this is working we'll just have to see sorry I'm, I'm a little confused right now but okay on with the next you were meant for me. I'm always chasing rainbows. My blue 
heaven. So I guess those are three songs in that one three minute. Well, that can't be the name of the whole entire song. I'm kidding. like I said, somebody can help me. Let me know. All right, here we go. Okay, I see was going. So what they did is they were going through, and they just transitioned into the other riff with a, another, like, melody, and they would call that, you know, that's the other song. So the end of that one was, I guess, My Blue he Heaven. So I'm kind of, this next one, Bill Bailey, I, I know Bill Bailey. I've heard of him before. I think I've heard of him. I, I think he's a really good artist. From what I can remember. Now it's got. Won't you please come home. There's a tavern in the town. She'll be coming around the mountain. Well I know that one. But by a bunch of other people. Or not a bunch of other people. By some other people. But this is interesting uh, banjo work. What do you think? They're really hitting it pretty good. Pretty solid pick. And I would sit there and say. It kind of makes me want to. Oh, like my wolf man inside, he's coming out. Oh man, I kind of want to go get a shovel and pick and go look for some gold. Here we go, number three, Bill Bailey.
Ooh, that one was so juicy that the Bill Bailey, oh, won't you please come home? There's a tavern in the town. She'll be coming around the mountain. Man, that those licks are just juicy. I mean, you can tell they, they're really poppy, really sna just poppy, poppy, just snazzy, poppy, really good. Really good song there, I have to say, for back then. And for now, I, I mean, I like it. I mean, it's... Why, why wouldn't you listen to it? I mean, you, I mean, come on. It's a good melody. All the whole, number three. So far, I like number three the best out of them all. Going down, I mean, number three is just like blowing another ballpark. You know what I mean? So let's check out number four. I wonder who, who's kissing her now, my gal Sal, after the ball. So let's check it out. Sorry about that. I was too busy messing around with you. No. Very interesting. Here, let me get down a little bit and see here. Okay, so. Okay, what we got here is this next one. I mean, this last one kind of had some really good. It was a really good sweet way melody. Very relaxing, I should say. 
So this next one is, what is it? this next one is, listen to the Mockingbirds, Old Folks at Home, Champ Town Racer. I think I know Champ Town Racer, so we'll probably like that one a lot. So I'm going to turn my mic off and here we go. This is the Wolfman. This is my reaction to this 12 song uh, album. You know, the Barons of Banjo or Banjo Barons. <laughs> Let's go. Let's check this out. Let me turn my mic off right here. Here we go. If you can stand up. We can all lose a little bit of this, right? Come on, if you can. If you can't, just sit there and move your arms. You know what I mean? If you can't get up, just move your arms. It's time just to loosen up and appreciate it and get like funky, hunky door. Oh, my pockets are open, I think, huh? I think my pockets are open, yeah. I don't like it when my pocket flaps are open. Like little ears and stuff. But anyways, uh, I'm trying to like all this dance. Let's do it. Sorry about that. I had to sit down. I was getting too little loose and goofy. Oh man, it's twelve nineteen a.m. in the morning, two nine twenty twenty one, and I'm BK, the Wolfman of Reaction. Woo! Listening to the Banjo Barons. What am I doing? Having fun, that's what I'm doing. A new time, new air, you know, new time, new 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 beginnings. It's 2021, you just gotta change everything you do in your life. Cause everything is not working right, so you have to alter your universe. I'm being goofy, aren't I? That's what this music's doing to me. This is weird. This is kind of weird. I, I want to go get like some gold mining stuff. You know what I mean? Go look for some gold. I'm, I'm not. I'm not joking around. Go get some gold. I got a jeep, and I got another big monster truck. And that monster truck, he wants to go out and, and rip some dirt up. Go slap some mud down. Mud slinging tires. You know what I mean? 
That's what this music's doing to me. So let's get on with this next one, number six. Swinging down the lane. I'll see you in my dreams. <laughs> uh, pig, <laughs> pig, pig on my heart. Oh man, listen to, wait, listen to some of these titles. Wait a second. Okay, wait. The one we just listened to, you know, listen to a mockingbird. <laughs> I mean, come on. Old folks at the home. <laughs> if you think about it, that's some comedy stuff right there. This stuff's getting me all messed up here, you know what I mean? Okay, let me get on to the next one. So the next one is, swinging down the lane, I'll see you in my dreams. Uh, Pig my heart. <laughs> All right, here we go. That was an interesting song. It was some good change up right there. Man, I started getting hot in my room. It's winter out right now, but I'm going, man. But it's good sweating, you know what I mean? It helps you burn the calories when you got to pump up. You know what I mean? Do some pump, pumping up. <laughs> so this next one, this is what I'm talking about. Listen to some of these uh, names. 
do waka do tutu tootsie china boy <laughs> well we'll just have to listen to that maybe i they maybe they'll let me play that one i don't know we'll have to see but here we go that last one like i said it was swinging the it says swinging down the lane it was not too bad it has some very interesting change up i think the change up came on um I'll see you in my dreams. There was some really interesting, um, the way they were strumming it was very, very nice, very catchy. Here we go, the next one. Number seven. Wow, that was a sick jam right there. Back then, that would probably be considered like some thrash metal. <laughs> I mean, that was that was a really good one. That was like my one of my favorites out of this one so far. So I like number three, Bill Bailey, Won't You Please Come Home? There's a tavern in the town. Should be coming around the mountain and this do wackadoo to to tootsie. China Boy, and I heard China Boy at the end of that song. Check this out. I'm going to replay it, and I want you, you'll hear, you'll hear what they mean by China Boy. So this is very interesting how they put this in. So I'm going to go back, and we're going to listen to part of this song. I want you to listen to the little back end. You'll hear it change into like Chinese music. It's very interesting. Do you hear that? Hopefully, because part of that I had my mic on. Hopefully, it didn't mess anything up too bad. But you hear how they transitioned into the back end of that? That's the China Boy riff, rhythm, or riff, whatever you want to call it back then. That was very interesting. So number eight, Josephine, the gang that sang Heart Heart of My Heart at Sundown. Hmm, this might be an older one. I have a feeling this might be an old like a redone, but an older tune, banjo tune. Okay, so here we here we go. Mic off.
so that was very interesting. I am not too sure that is uh, a full on rag ragtime song. I think that to me is like a mixture of some old school, like a oh, like a frontier old frontier tune mixed with a little bit of uh, ragtime. So back then, oh, I, I'm gonna put my place myself back then when I think the you know they this sixty one they came out with this, but these are tunes I believe that were a little bit older than that and I think this is an actually two different types of music coming together on this particular song I think it's ragtime and some like um that midwest uh banjo like what they have in the mid like a midwest not not like not like southwest style but like midwest type uh banjo picking in, in my opinion i might be wrong let me know but that's i think this one is kind of like a mixture of ragtime into that but the next one is give my regards to broadway uh the yankee doodle boy which i i know that one and ta ra ra boom dere i think i've heard of that yeah but with them all together i probably haven't i never really understood it until this album is making is helping me understand how they were writing the lyrics for banjoing because they're you know they're not singing so they're telling stories with their banjo playing but it's like from one story it's trailing into another one into a little short one it's it's weird you guys know what i mean so let me shut my mouth and we're going to get on with the next one Wow, that was an interesting, you know, I think out of them all, I think that one uh, might have been the most famous tune of them all, if I remember right. I think this Yankee Doodle Dandy one um, was probably the most famous, like, uh, known by people or liked by them because it was, um, you know, uh, like you know, what they would call a, um, 
uh, like a, an inspirational type for being a, I guess, American or U.S. citizen, excuse me, for being a United States citizen. Um, so far, I think I like number seven, Do Wackadoo. I like definitely number nine, the one we just listened to, and number three, Bill Bailey. Let's see what number 10, A Bicycle Built for Two. Meet me in St. Louis. Okay, I probably will like that one. Take me out to the ball game. Oh my God, you know, we all, okay, here we go. Here we go. Wow, you know, listening to that whole thing right now and not being like in a ball game with a bunch of other stuff around and just actually sitting there just to listen to that full thing and learning the full, like, you know, from front to end, not being cut up or having a bunch of people singing in the background or anything is very, very inspiring. I mean, it's a very upbeat tune um number 11 shine on H harvest moon was it uh genie with the uh, light brown hair ida sweet as apple cider so when you see me doing this and i'm suddenly looking down i have um a monitor in a different location that i'm looking at my main monitor and when i look up into you like this there's another monitor to here but it doesn't have my notes on it so, you know, I'm looking down or I'm seeing if, uh, where to stop the, uh, audio. That, that being said, let's get on to the number 11. After this, we got one more song after this number 11. And then we got one more song and we did it. We gave appreciation to this, to these artists, to this, uh, what I would call it would be historical document music, you know, that's been done within the last, uh, was it 60, not over almost 60 years ago, right? A little, almost 60 years ago. Um, this, you know, banjo back in town, the banjo barons. I mean, we're, we're appreciating it. We're, we're paying respect we're going deep. We've, we've, we're going deep into the music. When we go deep in the music, we go deep in all kinds of it. It's like we're swimming through into this field of music. You know what I mean? We're, we are trying to connect 
our, our energy and those music. We're locking in all that stuff so you can sit there and say, yeah, I listen to this music. I know this music. I have no limitation. That's one thing's good about music. You There's no limitation on what you can learn about music or take in or listen to. You know what I mean? You, it's out there. You just got to go search for it. And archive.org is a great place. And YouTube, too. You can find some good stuff on YouTube. So let's get on with um, number 11. Shine on Harvest Moon. Genie... Uh, Genie with uh, light brown hair and uh, I had a sweet apple. Wait, it says I had a sweet as apple cider. Excuse me. Okay, mic off. Let's check it out. Wow, I have to admit, I there's not one, not one on here that I don't like. I mean, I have my favorites, but I like them all. There's not one I don't like. And you know, I'm glad I found this one. I, I really do. I'm glad I, um, I've always liked banjo. I've always wanted to learn how to play the banjo. I picked one up not too long ago. I was like, the strings are like right on, like laying right on top of it, on on the, the the this round the round part. You know what I mean, right behind me. It's like a little drum almost. It's like right on top of it. I mean, I can play guitar, but I, I was like, that's very interesting. I might get one just to mess around on it, and see what happens. But I like them all. I have to admit, um, I like them all without voices too so this next one number 12 the last one if you've made it this far with me you are a trooper of music do you not understand that you are earning your merits and badges as the gods of music look down upon you 
They will bless you with multiple types of lyrics and rhythm and uh, dance moves. You appreciate music and music will appreciate you. You know what I mean there, Prospector? Okay, so next one, number 12. It's a tisk and task when you wore a tulip at the Dark Town Stutters Ball. What the heck? These names are just so comical. The way they, you know, thought of them. A, a, a tisk and a task. Task it when you wore a tulip at the it says Dark Town Strutters Ball. Wow, we gotta listen to that. Mike, up here we go. I'm going to stop it right there because I'm going to let it roll out after I talk. And that's how I'm going to end on this one. But I have to admit, not only are the banjos on this track, the other instruments, the other, you know, the, the percussion, the uh, air instruments, the little woozoos, what do they call woozoos, boogoos, or whatever. I can't remember what they call them. All the other types of air instruments, everything on this album, all the songs are extremely well for that time. They are like the cream of the crop. I mean, for this type of music. I mean, I, I can see why they have stayed around this long and why they're used in all kinds of like commercials or, or phone ringers or all kinds of stuff. And I'm so happy I get to sit there and... And I'm listening to them from beginning to end. And I'm actually learning some things. Some interesting things on how these songs are put together. Like how they're... Like, it's one whole song, but there's three types of... Four types of little riffs in there. And they call those, like, their own little mini songs almost. Or they were actually longer songs and they cut up and they mixed up this. I do not know. So I have to look at it. But if I remember right, like uh, take me home to the, uh, take me out to the ball game. I think I remember sometimes the uh, Meet Me in St. Louis is on that 
I've always heard those together. So I'm, I'm interesting. Those are things when they used to put them out, they put them out in that, like, like they're all like connected. It's weird, isn't it? I don't know. I'm just getting into like the banjo. I've always liked banjo. I've never really like dived deep into the banjo music, but I do have some that I found that I recorded and I put on the side that I'm going to talk about. Some unknown people I found in the deep archives that were just sitting there. I was just listening and I'm like, oh, wow. And then I found this one. So I thought about it. I'm going to start a segment on the banjo stuff like I do everything else. And then I'm going to, you know, dive. I mean, I just did this one I just put out on, um, you know, Tough. He was a tough jack, man. That was a that that was some good swing, man. Some jazz. I'm talking about some really good jazz. This is some older jazz, and this jazz. Well, let's take a look right here. Look at this. Banjo back in town by the Banjo Barons, Columbia, CL, 1581. Public publication date 1961. Topic is jazz, Dixieland, instrumental. Um, this person here does a lot of sponsoring the Kyle Austin Foundation. How do they say? Kyle or whatever. So this has all this information here. Like I said, I will put all this on this video. So if you want to go check this out and download it yourself and have this in your music inventory, there you go. Hey. Um, BKM, the Wolfman of Reaction. Till next time, people, let the music in you out. Never let anybody tell you you can't do anything. Peace, people, peace. Peace, peace. Oh, and, and remember, the gods of music are looking down upon you.